everyone, welcome. My name is Aoife. It's lovely to connect with you virtually here. And thank you so much to Andy from Vinny for organizing this home series for us. Um, I've really been enjoying all the home practices you've been offering. So it's been, yeah, I'm really excited to be a part of it. And this class that I have prepared for you is going to be a 30 minute grounding flow. So we're just gonna drop into the presence of the body and, and move with ease and comfort from, from our own breath as the guide. And I'm not sure about you, but whenever I feel most connected to my breath, so when the breath can be the guide, this is when I leave the practice feeling most grounded and connected. So this is my offering and intention for you today. And I look forward to meeting you all soon and back on the mat. But for now, let's begin to close down the eyes. So I have propped my hips up on a block. If this is something that is suited to you, please feel free to do so. And the reason I prop my hips up on a block is I like my knees to lower and soften below my hips. So just making sure that my hip flexors are soft and switched off. And then begin to Close down the eyes, perhaps soften the eyelids, just when you feel ready. And perhaps you have found that sacred space in your home. And you can roll out the mat and dedicate this time to your practice. So as you're closing down the eyes, perhaps noticing this immediate connection to self, connection to breath, and you tune into the subtle body, perhaps even feeling the skin breathing. to ground down through the sitting bones, so feeling held and supported by the earth, and then noticing this energetic lift in the spine, so with the sense of connected and groundedness, perhaps feeling light through the crown of the head, and then soften the shoulders. So allow the shoulders to melt down the back. Let's take a full breath in together. And a cleansing breath out, let it go. Through the nose, breath in. Through the nose, breath out. Perhaps noticing the teeth at the back of your mouth as they part, allowing your jaw to release. Perhaps the skin of your forehead softens, the whole face is smooth. Here, begin to activate Ujjayi breath. Ujjayi breath is a light constriction at the back of your throat. Creating this audible sound, audible exhale. Allow this breath to be all you are concerned with. Allow this breath to pull you in. And to anchor you to this very present moment. I encourage you to call on this breath throughout practice. And allow it 
wanted to remind you that this is exactly where you need to be. So your mind, your body, and your spirit are exactly where they need to be. As you truly deserve this practice silence within. Together let's open the practice, big breath in, arms come wide, swoop up. Cleansing breath out through prayer, let it go. Breath in, arms come wide, reach up. Breath out, let it go. One more like this, full breath in, smile on the way up. Truly empty, let it go. Now the palms to face down, resting light on your thighs. And gently blink open the eyes. Welcome. So we're going to get started lying on the back, making your way there, perhaps moving the block or the pillow, anything that you may need for your practice to one side. When you come to lay in the back, give yourself a nice big hug, so massage through the lower spine, drawing the knees in towards the chest, even in a light circular motion, just feeling held and supported by the earth. Supta Baddha Konasana, so supine band angle. Can you connect the soles of the feet together? This external rotation of the femur, the thigh bone, align the knees to lower heavy to the earth. And the palms face up, so the back of the hands connected to the earth. Close down the eyes here. Now I'd like to set the intention of this idea of meditation in movement today. So anytime the mind begins to wander, and it will, call on Ujjayi breath. You are so deserving of this space and this practice to be fully present with your body. Placing your left hand on your heart and your right hand on your lower belly. And just acknowledging this light touch. Noticing the fall and the rise of the belly. This front body melts into back body. Take a full breath in, deep into the lower belly. And cleansing breath out, let it go. And let's just slowly begin to close the knees with the guidance of the hands, so like a book. Stack the knees directly over the hips, active awake through the toes, and the shins are parallel to the mat. So just take a moment to acknowledge that the small of the back is of course lifting off the mat, so this natural curve in the spine. Can you press the small of the back deep into the mat? So we're drawing the navel in towards the spine and knitting the floating ribs in. Perhaps create this nice length in the back of the neck so there's a slight tuck at the chin to chest. Staying here for three ujjayi breaths. Feeling the weight of the bones against the earth, pressing the sacrum, the low spine, deep into the mat. So noticing this light activation of the core, creating that fire within. Now we're so slowly release and find happy baby posture. So happy baby posture, think of an upside down squat. I feel quite
I tighten my hamstrings today, so I'm going to choose the variation where my hands are lightly resting against my hamstrings. So shine the soles of the feet towards the ceiling. There's a light pull of the toes towards the face as the heels shine towards the ceiling. Again, lengthen through the tailbone and draw the shoulder blades down towards the kidney. Take another full breath in. Cleansing breath out, let it go. Hug the knees into the chest. Begin to rock and roll lengthways up and down your mat. And we'll eventually meet rolling over the toes an extended child's pose at the back of the mat. So big toes will touch and knees will come wide here. Lower the sitting bones towards the heels. We'll take an in-breath as you lengthen your spine. And out-breath as you lengthen the arm bones. Keep the hips tracking back. Melt the heart towards your practice, towards the earth. Mm. You spread the fingers wide here and notice this true connection between you and your mat. In breath, lift the gaze, walk the hands to the left, coming into a side body stretch. Breath in, lift the gaze, walk the hands through center and over to the right. So just connecting the left sit bones towards the heel, breathing deep into this whole left side body, creating space between the ribs. And in breath, lift the gaze, hands come through center once more, noticing this beautiful length in your spine. In breath as you roll, ripple forward, stacking up to all fours, taking your time. So stack the wrists directly under the shoulders, knees directly under the hips. Spread the fingers wide so you can feel the skin separate between the fingers. Keep in between the knees, check what the big toes are doing, they tend to splay in. Making sure they're parallel to the knees, in breath, lower, lower belly, tilt pelvis. Gaze forward. And out breath, truly articulate through the spine here, so round and dome as you push the floor away. In breath, lower belly, tilt pelvis, and just gaze forward here. Out breath, round and down. So close down the eyes here, drop into full intuitive movement, allow your breath to guide this practice. Take up space, let's invite some, some freedom into the body, into the practice. So anything that the body is feeling, no right, no wrong. Again, just dropping into full movement here. Notice how your ujjayi breath is coming back to you, articulating through the spine. full celebration of your body and your breath. And together meeting in a tabletop position. Left hand comes to the center of the mat, right reaches up, open twist, smile. And empty breath out, thread the needle, soften. I like to lengthen my left arm here. So keep the hips tracking back, lengthen through the left arm. Two more like this, so press through the left hand, in breath, reach up. And out breath, thread. One more, full breath in, twist, open up. Out breath, thread the needle, soften, release. And ever so slowly begin to Lift up to tabletop position, right hand center, left reaches up, open twist. Noticing this twist in the thoracic spine, thread the needle, soften, lengthen the right arm. Let's 
two more like this. In breath, twist. Out breath, soften. Full breath in, twist, open up. Soften, release. Ever so slowly begin to press to the right hand puppy posture, keeping the knees directly under the hips. Just go with ease and caution here with any sticky shoulders. We want to melt the heart forward. And either placing the chin or the forehead to the mat. Noticing this true essence of devotion to your practice. It's quite a vulnerable shape, so you truly are melting the heart forward. And listen into your shoulders. Bend your breath here. And then gently begin to send the sit bones back. Find full expression of child's pose and melt. And here extend the arms forward, swoop the belly through. Let's find a low cobra together. Press down through the tops of the feet. Shine from the heart as you draw the shoulder blades back and down towards the kidneys. Breath out, soften. Rolling cobra, tent the fingertips, cactus the arms, press down through the tops of the feet. In breath as you peel the heart off the mat, only coming to your edge, listen to your beautiful body. Empty exhale, soften, release. Two more like this, full expression, rolling cobra, ujjayi breath. Together, lengthen the arm bones, palms facing down. Press down through the tops of the feet. In breath as you peel the heart off the mat. Shalabhasana posture if the lower back is feeling okay. Hip points facing down. Pressing the genitals in towards the floor. So your pubic bone pressing down. Think length here rather than lift. So keep the inner thighs spinning towards each other. Shine from the heart. And take another full breath in. Soften, release for breath out. Press through the palms, come through the knees, downward facing dog. From downward facing dog, big toes in and heels slightly out. Let's find full freedom here. So you might like to play around with any sways through the hips. Then we'll find some stillness. Big toes in, heels out. This is very much an active posture, so keep pressing the floor away. Externally rotate through the shoulders. Perhaps the ears are next to the biceps. Keep tilting the pelvis up, length through the spine. And press down evenly in all ten fingers. Full breath in. Lion's breath for breath out, let it go. <sighs> Leisurely walk to the top of the mat. So taking your time to arrive, let's bow over our bodies for a forward fold. In breath, half lift, shine from the heart. And an out breath, bow, forward fold. Let's salute the sun together, ground down to the soles of the feet. In breath, as you reach up, rise up. Oars rise to us and our gaze up. Exhale, find the earth, hinge from the hips. Forward fold. Half lift, shine from the heart, flat back. Soft knees, plant the hands, step or jump back, moving through chaturanga, so high to low plank. Press down through the tops of the toes, shine from the heart, lift the thighs. Downward facing dog, full breath out. 
Gather your full breath in. Cleansing breath out, let it go. Take the big toes to touch. Either step or a light hop to the top of the mat. Half lift. And bow over your body, forward fold, let it go. One more full round together. In breath, reach up, rise up. And out breath, swan dive, let it go. In breath, take a half lift, shine from the heart. Out breath, soft knees, plant the hands, stepping back, lowering from chaturanga to high to low plank. Upward facing dog or cobra. Downward facing dog, breath out. Take the right foot to the center of the mat, in breath as the left reaches up. And stay for a breath out. Keep pressing the floor away. Externally rotate through the shoulders. In breath, knee to nose. So round and dome. Out breath, back to the sky. And in breath, knee to nose. Out breath, back to the sky. One more like this. Full breath in, knee to nose. Look forward, step forward. Lower the right knee and tuck the back toes, swoop the hands up, Anjaniasana pose. In Anjaniasana, can you pull the left hip back, right forward, lengthen through the tailbone. And sit up nice and proud, grounding down through the sole of the left foot. Bring the pinky fingers in towards each other and smile from the heart to the collarbones. Take a full breath in. Twist to the right for breath out. Breath in, arms come through center. Half Hanuman, breath out. Half Hanuman, sending the hips back, straighten through that left leg. And dorsiflex the toes. In breath, take a half lift here. Out breath, bow over your body, soften. In breath, Anjaniasana, sweep the hands up and celebrate. So there's this energetic motion, hands up, heart open, bow over your body, breath out. Two more like this, swooping the hands up, energetically proud, grateful, soften, bow over your body, fully. Your breath, your practice. In breath, as you tuck the toes under, lift the back knee, present lunge, rise up. And out of breath as you ground, stay for breath out. You need to make a fist with the hands, inhale as you pull the sky down, open through the heart. And out of breath as you reach back up. In breath as you pull the sky down, open through the heart. And out of breath, reach back up. One more like this, full breath in, Shine to the heart, breath out, reach back up, take another full breath in, arrowhead posture for breath out, drifty down at this left foot, wrapping the left hip back, energy taken from the crown of the head through to this back heel, strong and grounded. Breath in, crescent, rise up. Breath out, plant the hands, moving through your flow. We'll meet in downward facing dog. Take a full breath in. Cleansing breath out, let it go. Right leg lifts. Stay for breath out, stay grounded and square off the shoulders and the hips. In breath, knee to nose. Out breath, back to the sky. In breath, knee to nose. Out breath, back to the sky. In breath, knee to nose. Round and down through the spine. Look forward, step forward. Lower the left knee, untuck the back toes. 
Whooping the hands up, Anjani Asana. So take a moment to find this this neutral pelvis, this right hip wrapping back, left forward, knitting the floating ribs in. Stay strong and grounded, and it's as if you're trying to pull the inside of the mat together. Pinky fingers turn into one another. Full breath in. Twist to the right, four breath out. Breath in, rise up. Half Hanuman, breath out. Half lift, shine from the heart. Bow over your body, breath out. The side will feel familiar to you. Plant the right foot, swoop up, Anjaniasana. Half Hanuman, breath out. Two more like this. Anjani Asana. Begin to lift the back knee, tuck the back toes, reach and rise up, crescent lunge. Begin to make a fist with the hands, pull the sky down, in breath, open through the heart. Eye breath as you reach back up. Full breath in, pull the sky down. Breath out, giving the energy back up. One more like this. And cleansing breath out. A for breath in, arrowhead posture for breath out. Again, wrap, wrap, wrap the right hip back, lengthen through this back heel, and shine the energy through the crown of the head, knitting the floating ribs in. Ujjayi breath. Breath in, crescent. Breath out, arrow. Breath in, crescent. Breath out, plant the hands, move through your flow. And slow and steady. As we meet in downward facing dog. In no rush at all, take a full breath in. And cleanse it out, let it go. Left leg floats, in breath, knee to nose, step it through, left hand up for a twist, keep the integrity in the hips so the left hip pulling back right forward, the twist is from the thoracic spine, take a breath in, pyramid pose for breath out, pyramid pose, your feet are on train tracks, so enough space for the hips as the left hip is pulling back. In breath, half lift, and out breath, fold. Do whatever feels comfortable for you today. Arrowhead posture, generous bend in the left knee, set the right foot back, shine through the sole, the crown of the head even. Take a full breath in, cleansing breath out. Crescent lunge, reach up. Warrior two, breath out. Take a moment to drop into the essence of warrior two. So pulling this energy from the earth strong through your foundation. Keep pressing down through the blade edge of this right foot and soft through the shoulders. Flip the front palm, reverse. Heart wheel the hands down to frame this left foot. Cross the left over the right, you're in a crossed downward facing dog. Lower the knees, move the feet beside the side of the mat and sit the, the sit bones back. So the feet are as wide as the mat, you're in Gomba Kasana. Eagle arms here, right under left. In breath, tilt pelvis. Out breath, round and down. In breath, tilt pelvis. Out breath, release, cactus the arms and shine from the heart. Bow forward, plant the hands, untuck, unravel, downward facing dog. Big breath in, cleanse it out and let it go. 
right leg floats. Look forward, step forward, knee to nose. Right hand lifts, twist. Stay proud and active through these fingers. Right hip falling back. Okay, full breath in. Pyramid pose, four breath out. Half lift. Bow over your body, four breath out. Arrowhead posture, step the left foot back. Generous bend in the right knee. Breath in for crescent, rise up. Open, warrior two, soften. Flip the front palm, reverse, paint the ceiling. Or wheel the hands down to frame this right foot. Cross the right over the left, lower the knees. Ankles and feet come as wide as the mat. Create space. Go on, Bakasana. If this feels a little tricky on the knees or the hips, just come into Sukhasana, so easy seat as you cross at the shins. Eagle arms, left under right. In breath, tilt pelvis. Out breath, round and dome. Breath in, tilt pelvis. Chin to chest, dome. One more like this. And open through the heart, breath out. And plant the hands, unravel. You're in a tabletop position. From here, in breath, lower belly, tilt pelvis. Out breath, round and down. Two more like this. In breath, as you tuck the toes under, lower the belly. Breath out, downward facing dog. Release, let it go. Just drop into the essence of your breath. Prana moving through the body. And come back to the presence of the body. Softly lower the knees into a kneeling position. Arms rest light on the thighs, begin to close down the eyes. Left hand on your heart, right hand on your lower belly. And perhaps repeating after me, I am held and I am supported. So slowly begin to lengthen the legs out in front of you and come to lay on the back. Give yourself a nice big hug, massaging through the low spine. Lower the soles of the feet as wide as the mat here. Cactus the arms, knees are bent. Lower the knees to the left, gaze to the right, supine twist. Option to take the left heel on the outside of the right knee. Neck comes through center, release the bind. And take a breath in center here. And a full breath out. Lowering the knees to the right, gaze to the left. Option, right heel on the outside of the left knee. And this is slowly begin to release. Lengthen the legs out. Find your final shape, Shavasana. 
take a moment to add on any extra layers, anything that makes you feel loved, comfortable. And coming back to the reminder that this is exactly where you need to be. You truly deserve this, this essence of the practice of feeling held and supported by the earth then energetically light and lifted. So a wonderful place to blossom from. And celebrate your body, and celebrate your life, the wonder of it all, the wonder of your pure existence. A moment to express true gratitude for all that you are and all that you do. So once again, showing up for your practice. Please take an extended Chavasana in the comfort of your own home. And thank you so much for practicing with me. So much love and I'll see you very soon. Namaste.